Video cannot be monetized. Ad revenue paid to copyright owner. Copyright owner's policy monetizes some territories. Copyright owners, creative music group on behalf of YNW Melly. Now, this is the original video. This is the original video. And this is a Blackout Network podcast exclusive, man. Look at this goofball. Hit that fucking like button, man. You shit me? And respect that cash app, too. Listen, pay attention. Charges. Press one to refuse charges. Thank you for using Key Medic. You may start the conversation now. Snow Billy. Fuck. What up? All right, y'all heard that, right? Put one in the chat if you just heard that. One in the chat if you just heard that 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 jail call intro. One in the chat. Let me know anybody paying attention, man. Cause I'm only I'm only doing this one time. Don't be coming in my fucking live streams asking me about this shit again, man. The nigga ain't in jail. Y'all heard the intro, right? I'm gonna play this shit again. All right. Pay attention, man. It dug nice. Pay attention. I played it over. Put some respect on my fucking cash app too. An inmate at Northern Correctional Institution. Y'all hear that? All right, my nigga. Hip hop, why well, I ain't coming down, nigga? Fuck is you talking about? Now this is how this shit started, right? Snow silly. Snow silly. He got a he he made a little bullshit YouTube channel, right? And he supposedly did a little response video to Mayno. I got wind of it. I screen grabbed it ASAP. Jim C, you and CT, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's another northern in Florida. You know what I mean? And that's where he got the video from. But listen, man. He did a live, or he did a little fake interview. I screen grabbed it, uploaded it. Feel me? Boom. Two hours later, I get back on YouTube to check my analytics to see how the video doing. You know all that shit. Yeah, I know, bro. I'm in, I'm in Connecticut. I know. I know. I know, nigga. I'm from Connecticut. So, I fucking, uh, yeah, I check my analytics, and then, boom, I get hit with this. I upload the video. I get hit with this. A copyright fucking infringement on the video. I'm thinking Pop Smoke might have monetized that fucking song he got that I use as my intro. I'm like, damn, Pop Smoke done with Hollywood on the nigga. Come to find out. They talking about, y'all see what that say? Melly slash Melvin interlude. Y'all see that, right? Facts, North End in here. Yeah, I was born in the North End. Shout out Mount Sinai. I was born in Mount Sinai Hospital, my nigga. But listen, y'all see that? Put one in the chat if y'all see what it say. Melly, Melvin interlude. One in the chat. Let's go. Where y'all niggas at, man? Put a one in the chat if y'all can see this shit. Yeah, shout out Pistol Wave in New Haven. Shout out Bridgeport. You know the vibes. Put a one in the chat, man. And hit that like button. Y'all in here. Y'all fuck with me. I upload the content y'all want me to upload. Hit that like button. What's up with y'all niggas, man? As soon as you step in, hit that like, man. I should have at least 40 likes, man. Come on, man. 40 likes, man. Let's go. Hit that like button, man. Blue Hills, that's a fact. I got family on Blue Hills. I know it's small, but you know what I mean? Let's go. I need 40 likes, man. Come on, man. Jump this shit up there. I'm breaking this shit down. I'm giving y'all the proof that this nigga's fabricating being in jail. Triple beam salute. Hit that like button, y'all. It's 67 people in here. How I ain't got 40 likes? Dwayne, yo, yo, kick Dwayne, man. Dwayne wants you out of here. Eat a Frank, my nigga. Let's see what you gotta say, G. It's coming, DJ C. Matic. 
Bridgeport. That's a fact. I fought with B port. All right, man, listen. I uploaded the video. Boom. I get hit with a fucking uh, strike. The shit says Melly slash Melvin interlude. I said, what the fuck? I ain't got I ain't got no fucking YMW Melly shit on my fucking I fought with the little nigga, but I don't fuck with him like that. You know what I mean? So then on YouTube, it tells you what part of the video is copyright infringed. So this is the part of the video that's copyright infringed. That's the shit that got flagged. That part right there. And then, if you play this right here, boom. If you go to his fucking mixtape, my W. Melly mixtape, hold on. Where this shit at? Boom. Hold on, let me turn the shit on. Hold on. Boom. Then if you hit this right here on YMW Melly mixtape, let me know if something sounds familiar to y'all. Hello, this is a prepaid collect call from... An inmate at Florida Correctional Institution. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. To accept charges, press 1. To refuse charges, thank you for using Teenetics. You may start the conversation now. I'm in it right now. I woke up. I woke up. So this whole ass nigga, this whole ass nigga, done finessed a YMW Melly song and added his own name into the shit to make it seem like the nigga in jail. Now, here's the interesting part about this shit. Y'all want to know why I think he did that? Because a few days prior to him putting the shit out, Takashi was supposed to stay in trial. Snow Billy is in the federal paperwork as victim one. I think this clown ass nigga might have to testify. I think he might be working with the government. And that's not surprising because his wife, a federal prosecutor. And. I got some other shit. Matter of fact, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, you know what? Since, since I got fucking damn near 80 people in the building, I'm going to break this shit down. Hold on a second. I'm here. Y'all yeah, dwell on that. I'm about to I'm about to read some shit to y'all that I found real interesting. You know what I mean? Shit, what's that fuck? Uh, I think I bookmarked it. Bookmark. Shit. Hey. Hold on a second. Let me uh pull this shit up for y'all. Oh, here we go right here. Here we go right here. Hold on. Let me go to the fucking page. Now, niggas might say, blow, why are you going in on snow like that? Da, 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 da. Listen, man, I upload that nigga because y'all, he entertaining. Feel me? The nigga is entertaining. I ain't got no allegiances to me and him had a report. We used to chop it up just on some, you know what I mean? Just on some light shit. I was supposed to do an interview before the info mine shit, but I knew the questions I wanted to ask him. He wasn't going to answer them. One, because he, he trying to save all that juicy shit for his book. And second of all, I ain't want to get niggas caught up. Because everybody else that interviewed him, they be they, they don't ask him the real shit. Like the nigga say he knew the hip-hop agent, nigga. But if you knew he was a hip-hop agent and you Melly Big Homie, why the fuck you ain't tell Melly stop fucking with that nigga because you know he the police? No, it's not a surprise. That's a fact. It's not a surprise. But my thing is, who pretends to be in jail? Who goes and films themselves and pretends to be in jail? That's some weirdo shit. Now, here we go right here, man. This is some... Somebody posted this about this nigga Snow Billy last year in July. It goes... This is how it goes. I'm about to read it. It goes part one. Had to write a book. Duty bound to share info. Don't say you wasn't warned. Shane Hardy, a.k.a. Snow Billy, a.k.a. Cartier, is a notorious rat coward. 
He is the walking definition of a fuckboy. This bitch ass nigga posts that he violated 6 9 the property of BBA like he in position. How the fuck is this rat talking about the next nigga situation when he haven't moved on his own shit? The same coward who once posted shit criticizing a big homies for making peace with those who got wounds from in battle. The whole nigga run his mouth publicly and on social media to get likes but DM niggas to that shit. Or post still my brother's keeper waving a white flag. He falsely claimed he got hit in the neck and in the head with the bullet still in his head. A.K.A. two shot Chuck. This rat got shot one time in his neck and it came out the other side of his ear. Entry wound, exit wound. Initially, it was reported he got shot two times, but of course the real shooter would know that. Don't let that go over your heads. Again, don't let that go over your heads. Entry wound and exit wound. Initially, it was reported he got shot two times, but of course the real shooter would know that. Don't let that go over your heads. This rat gave a canine description with details of the shooter and sent them to Brooklyn Knights, telling them the shooter is on camera with him having drinks. Boys pull up with a mugshot shutting down the spot. He telling everyone shooter on camera. Clear as day he doing the deed to justify how the police got a mugshot within an hour. Fast work for the police. This coward was in the hospital on his third parole violation. His first parole violation, he got a 90-day program. He fucked that up and did like a two, uh, like a second. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, shit, let me, let me, let me uh, get comfortable because my neck hurt. Damn. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We getting into it, family. Yeah, we, 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 yeah, his first violation, he got a 90-day program. Fucked that up and did like a year. His second violation, second parole violation, he crashed a Range Rover and ran, leaving documents with his name on it. No 80000 in cash. He was on the run from parole and caught a drug case and a Fed case, in a Fed bank case. Uh, no, it says... In, f in a Fed bank fraud case, moving money through the bank. Mysteriously, those cases disappeared. But parole still violated the rat and gave him two years. The third parole violation. The rat come home to 40K insurance from the death of his mother, then catch another drug case upstate New York. Mysteriously, they release him with a parole hold after being shot. Police hand him over to parole. So when Snow said he got shot in the head, he had to do some time on records. That's true. You know what I mean? Now, boom. Let me go to part two. Yo, man, hit that like button. I should have at least 50 fucking likes, man. Come on, man. I'm giving y'all niggas the drop. I need 50 fucking likes, man. Come on, man. All right, part two. Now this is like his this will have this is like more or less like a little jail story they put up. They say part two. Rat nigga came through the sixth building telling tales and the homies put hands on him. Chase him out the PC, then out to, then out of the building. This rat posted he had three bandits in the building, but failed to mention one of them was the homie he snitched on during his 15 year bid. What gangster get run out of the sixth building? So for y'all in New York. I don't know what facility the six building is in, but I guess it's not that. I guess it's kind of sweet in the six building. You know what I mean? Yo, kick bad, 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 Larry Brown, kick him. Anyways, this rat posted he had three bandits in the building, but failed to mention one of them was the homie he snitched on during his 15 year bid. What gangster get ran out of the six building? This fuckboy is a special agent and a dead man walking. His resume speaks for itself. With all his parole violations and. He got shot. Parole decided to release this rat. Mysteriously, his work not done. He on the media declaring his affiliation claiming. 
He on media declaring his affiliation claiming Godfather. Fucking embarrassment. Cheese eater forfeit the rights when he started fucking homos up north during his 15 years. He forfeit the rights when a nigga snatched his chain at Comstock and later pulled his stunt and cut a bystander in front of the CEOs to go to the box. He forfeit the right when he got his footwear jacked and did nothing. He forfeit the right when the big homies in Elmira took him to the field house and dug in his ass for that package he came up off the visit. Kyle ran to the CEOs and had to sign in. Then he was transferred. What gangster ever let themselves walk into a situation where niggas violate and go in your ass for a package and didn't retaliate? He forfeited the right when he changed his name to Cartier and became Brim. Paying to gain status till they, till they booted him out the right. And they said all this could be verified by the OGs behind the wall. This nigga is a fraud, all bark, no bite. The work he put in the streets before the 15 years hold no weight no more. Nigga claiming other people work as his. Book writer, movie teller, cheese eater, ratted on his own family to stay free. I guess they talking about the nigga Bat that shot him in the head. Tried to spit dirt and set up his own cousin. Yeah, they talking about Bat. Left him for dead, but real niggas prevail. My guy, the OG, salute you for keeping it 100. Stay on the sidelines, OG. This coward making noise on the gram to draw attention so niggas can hesitate knowing police watching. He a crafty rat. But fuck all that. Catch you slipping again. You already made your first mistake. For the record, I heard it wasn't 100000 for that. It was for free. LOL. A bottle of Henny for the birthday boy and the greedy rat tried to drink it all. No wonder why he got caught slipping. Now, just so y'all think I ain't making this shit up. Hey, and if y'all want to read this shit yourself, all y'all have to do is Google. Hold on one second. Let me. All you have.